In the early 90s, BC's Lieutenant Governor at that time, David Lamb, started a volunteer gardening program at Government House to enhance the grounds, but also to invite British Columbians to enjoy developing and maintaining the beautiful grounds. Veronica Cooper takes us there. This rose garden is one of many different gardens on the grounds of Government House. The garden is 35 acres here and it's divided into 20 different gardens and each of the gardens has a, a volunteer coordinator. I am the horticultural advisor to all of these separate gardens and try to see that there's a flow in between them all. We don't just maintain them, we've created them and they've evolved. The gardeners just bring so much um, love and attention. Tandy Williams is the liaison between the friends, as the volunteers are known, and Government House proper. Around the grounds there are certain areas where it's not possible to maintain the distance that's required to be safe in a COVID environment and as such we've had to close certain areas off while the volunteers are doing their work. It's been a really good thing because the volunteers feel safe and they're able to continue doing the important work that they do here to provide this beautiful space for people to come to, especially it, during COVID, I think they needed it even more. This is so it's kind so of heavy. Uh, top heavy. There are around 400 volunteer friends yeah, we'll in and out of it. who work at the gardens two mornings a week. It's a chance to come in and work for a couple of hours for a couple of days, get some fresh air, some exercise, and a sense of community. And at the end of the day, for an example, they can buy vegetables fresh right out of the ground and, and take them home and have a really nice dinner. Two bags, bags of mix. and two carrots, two carrots. and you wanted a sugar snap. Sugar snap. Last year, the organic vegetable garden produced 3,000 pounds of produce. We sell to the volunteers that are here and um, we also are able to send uh, several hundred pounds a year to uh, local food charity groups here. And one bag of carrots at a time, the friend spent $10,000 buying produce, cash which is then funneled back into maintaining the government house gardens for all of us to enjoy for free seven days a week from 9 a.m. till sunset. Vital People, brought to you by the Victoria Foundation. Connecting people who care with causes that matter.